All right, we start with boxing news where legendary trainer Mzimasim Gunu has died at the age of 73. The trainer has produced more than 10 of the greatest world champions since 1990, including Welcome Lita, Boyani the Beast, Bungu, and Mbulelo Slayer Butile. Mgunu received uh, two Lifetime Achievement Awards in 2017 and in 2018. To celebrate the life of this legend, we are joined by Vuyani the Beast, Bungu, on the line. A very good afternoon, Vuyani. Great to have you on the show. Firstly, uh, my condolences for the loss of a loved one to you. How did you react to the news of Mbramzi? Uh, thank you for having me in the show. Um, it, was, it was shocking. I couldn't believe it. You know, as much as we, I knew that he was, 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 was very ill, but uh, I, I wasn't expecting that he, Today we're gonna get the news that he, he's no more. And the, un the unfortunate part, even today, uh, in his village, his sister was, was buried today. Oh, wow. Um, that is just uh, something very sad to experience. Um, it's never easy to lose someone that's close by. Um, how's the family doing? Have you been in contact with the family yet? Uh, not yet, because I'm, 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 I'm still waiting. I did uh, phone uh, his brother, Sise, his younger brother, Sise, and they were there uh, uh, in, 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 in their village bearing their sister. So, so I'm waiting for them to come back so that I can go there and meet with them. And um, how did you initially get to work with Bramzi, if you don't mind me asking? It's a long story, you know. I met him when I was 16 years. You can imagine. Now I'm 24 years old. You know. uh, I started boxing. My career of boxing from Zim Guni, and I turned professional 1980-87. You know, and winning the provincial title in, in, in 1988, and winning the South African title in 1990, then 94, winning the world title against Kennedy McKinney IBF. I, I was I was with him all the way. You know, he was like a father to me. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. I mean um so, you know it's special to have uh, people in boxing um, close to the ones that are, of course, the world champions and the world record holders and those that represent the South African national flag. What type of influence uh, did Mguni have in your success? As I said, he was like a father to me. Z was everything. You know, when I started wearing a suit, Z bought the suit for me. You know, when I was when I was still an uh, up and coming boxer, uh, he was that type of a person. Z, uh, you know, and with with the career of of with my career in boxing, Z was always there. You know, uh, up until I, I became the, the the world champion. You know, so Uzi played a, a, a huge, huge role in me personally and in my family as well. Uh, the likes of Bramzi put South Africa boxing um, on the map. Um, what can we do to improve the sport right now and produce more champions? Uh, champions, I beg your pardon, like yourself. Um, you know, um, it, it's, it's not an easy thing, you know, but uh, we are trying our best because we can't just let it go. We have to plow back. You know, what Uzi has been doing to us, we have to go back and, 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 and do the same thing to the young ones because they need us, unfortunately. You know, we, we had no choice, you yeah. know, but, uh, but we, are, we, are, we, are, we are trying our best. We are trying our best. It's not easy, but we are trying. Absolutely. Just before I let you go, Vuyani, um, just was your last words uh, to him and, you know, what did he say to you? How was your last encounter with him, um, obviously, before this tragedy took place? I was always uh, visit uh, Abraham Z in, 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 in his house, uh, but he will always cry because he will always, when he, saw, when he sees me, he always said, uh, you are like my first one. So, so, so I, when, you, when I always see you, I, 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 it's, it's like, I, you know, I feel like crying. So it, it was sad to see him not be able to do anything. So that is why today I say my condolences to the family, the, 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 the Mgoni family. You know, um, um, my heart is with them as, 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 as they are going through this, uh, uh, this thing of a problem. 
Absolutely. Uh, Vuyani, just before I let you go, um, what are you up to nowadays? Are you still giving back to boxing or is there a different path that you've decided to follow? Hey, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still in boxing, but, you know, I'm going straight into my road. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm training the young boys, uh, the amateurs, because I don't want to deal with the professionals. I want to uh, build my own, my, my own uh, uh, boxers. So I'm busy with that now. Uh, 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 definitely, in, in, in two years, uh, I'm going to be up there. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. That was a former boxer, Vuyani Bungu, just uh, celebrating the life of one of the fallen soldiers from the boxing fraternity, and may his soul rest in peace. All right, that's